Hey guys, welcome to the channel. As you can see in the background, we have something that you don't get to see every day. It's got a 1942 white M2 half track, and we're going to go into its story a little bit and talk about some differences between what it is currently configured as and what it was converted to by the military at one point and how it ended up here and in the condition it's in. So let's take a look around it, then we'll get into some details. What we're looking at today is a 1942 white M2 half track. This half track was rebuilt by the government in 1944 in New York City and it was converted to an M2A1. It's being restored in a barn find condition and in the original configuration that it was built as is an M2, not an M2A1. So when I say restored as barn find, this vehicle is not going to be represented or I should say misrepresented as a barn find. It is being restored mechanically and physically with the correct components and pieces so that it runs, drives, and appears as it would have when built. It is not getting a cosmetic restoration. It is not going to be repainted with new clean paint. It is not going to be spiffed up and made to look like a brand new rig. The owner of this vehicle has several vehicles that are factory class almost 100 out of 100 scored vehicles. He just wants to be able to use this one and not worry about putting a towel on the floor or if anybody leans against it. He wants to be able to enjoy the vehicle, take it to shows, drive it in parades, not worry if it, if it rains or sprinkles a little bit on it or gets dirty on a dusty road. Going to go over some differences between the M2 and the M2A1. An M2 half track would have a skate rail built into it, which this one has for machine gun mounting. They typically have two 30 caliber machine guns, the 1919 variant, and it would also typically have one M250 cal machine gun on it. These also had ammo lockers for storage built into the sides that you could access from the outside, or you could access through a lid on the inside. And there's one on each side of the truck. The M2A1s would not have a skate rail system. They would have had just a single ring mount over the passenger seat, no ammo lockers, and they would have had a lot of grab handles inside for the troops to hang on to. These vehicles do ride pretty good, but as you can imagine, it's 18,000 pounds. It's got pretty stiff suspension, and when you get moving in rough terrain, it's not going to be a fun ride inside without something to hang on to. All of the armor on this M2 is original, except for a reproduction rear panel. And the armor is not specifically original to this half track. Um, from the doors forward is original to the truck. From the doors back is original M2 armor from a different track that was put on this one. The exterior, you're going to see some black tar looking substance on it. Get up close here to show you that. You're going to notice it's around almost all of the seams on the truck. Pretty much everywhere there's a gap that's supposed to be there for opening or closing. All the hoods, all the vents. This was uh, tar that was used to seal the truck up for overseas transport. So the thought on this one is that when it was rebuilt as an M2A1 in New York City in 1944, that it was being prepped to ship overseas to go to battle. Uh, we do not have any evidence that this machine ever went overseas. We just don't know, so we're not going to advertise that it has. Uh, M2s weigh around 18,000 pounds. It's powered by a straight six white engine and it does get a whopping two and a half miles to the gallon. The M2s were originally equipped with a front mounted winch. These do have and should have fender mounted headlights and a high and low beam 
set up on them. They were also equipped with a dimmer switch for the high and low beams. The later versions did not have high and low beams or a dimmer switch installed, and the headlights would have actually been mounted on a pedestal so they could be pulled off and used to use as a spotlight or a work light on the vehicle. The other thing I want to talk to you about too, which is pretty interesting, is uh, the front tires. The front tires that came off of this half track, um, they're about 18 plies thick, and I actually have a cross section that I'm going to show you here in a few minutes. Um, it's, it's not an armored tire or a bulletproof tire, but they are unbelievably thick. Um, I'm, a, I'm assuming it's for the extra weight capacity because the vehicle is so heavy. So this is a cross section of the original front tire from the half track. And I told you guys that it was really thick and a lot of plies. And the most that were counted, I believe, were 18. But uh, just for comparison, that's a pretty rugged piece of rubber. Just to give you a size comparison of how thick that is. Uh, these wheels are combat wheels. They are from a later variant truck, M2A1, M3, M4. Um, these wheels are combat wheels. They are from a later variant half track. Uh, they f were on the vehicle when it showed up and there's really no reason to replace them with the earlier ones. This half track does have a bullet hole in the windshield reasonably certain it did not happen in service um, no reason to say that it did and there's no other bullet damage or, or combat damage that it appears to be in the rest of the truck the ham bone name was given to it by the owner kind of goes along with pea soup the star that you see here is actually the original star and this is the original paint on the armor that was purchased for the truck. Not sure why it's shaped like that, if that was how they masked it out to put it on there or what the deal is with it, but that's the star from the armor that came on it. It's kind of cool, so they're going to leave it. The unit markings were also added. They were added to be antique looking. They were not supposed to be nice and crisp and new. Obviously, the original Kilroy was not there, but it's a good addition to the truck. Same thing with this star. This was not repainted or touched up in any way. This is exactly how it came on the truck with the armor. You can see the remnant here of another star in the background, maybe from an earlier rebuild or an earlier paint. But again, not really sure why they look like that, but they do. These numbers, the hood number is the original number that came on the truck. And you can see that there's two stars showing through, the original and the later one painted on it. One thing to us that is a mystery, and if you do know the history of this or you know what unit it belongs to, please let us know in the comments because we'd really like to know. This is an original unit crest that was on the vehicle. I don't know if I can get a better view of it here or get my shadow over it to block it. So you can see it better but this shield is an original shield that came on the truck and we'd really like to know what unit that goes to um, it's just been a mystery we just don't know but this is ham bone again this is gonna be kept in this physical condition it is mechanically sound it has new tires new tracks all the mechanics of the vehicle have been gone through it starts runs drives stops and steers exactly as it should um, it does have reproduction fuel tanks in it and a couple of other reproduction parts. The machine guns are not live machine guns. Um, it's a resin cast 50 cal and it is a demilled non-functioning 1919. The owner is looking for another trolley for the skate rail. If you happen to know where there's one or have one kicking around that you'd like to sell, please leave a comment and I'll get that information to him so he can try to get a deal worked out with you to pick that up. The only things really left to do to this machine are to put the original gauges back in and install a new wiring harness.
that's going to do it for today's video on the half track. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, this vehicle is an amazing piece of history. It's very fun to be even just around and look at and check out. Every time I see it, I learn more, find new things that I didn't know before. If you have any questions or comment about this vehicle or even other variants of its type, let us know in the comments. And again, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you.